Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity. I will use this opportunity to explain about the briefly explain what ASEAN have done so far in Indonesia through the phase one to three, and what we're taking forward to developing our, the, our strategy for the phase four of the ASEAN. This is a, just a brief overview of the ASEAN. Diane already explained about the expert, uh, about the ASEAN, so I'll just skip this. And this is the ASEAN in Indonesia. Uh, during the phase one to three, which is conducted from June 2009 till 2013, ASEAN already conducted three phase in Indonesia, which through series of the shared line learning dialogues, the key outcomes from the ASEAN implementation in Indonesia, including the, uh, the early adopter cities in ASEAN in Indonesia is two cities, which, is, which are Semarang and Bandar Lampung City. And the key outcome from the ASEAN phase one to three in Indonesia is we already developed the vulnerability assessment and also the city resilience strategies for the both city. And we also have already have kind of pilot project implementation in the both cities. And we already advocate the CRS to the local development planning, both in the Semarang city and Bandar Lampung city. And in the both city, the CRS already mainstream into their local development planning project. For the initial phase, the important thing, the important thing that we take in from the implementation that there is a need to select uh, influential government pattern since the beginning of the process, and also to work with the city partner to enhance the capacity of the city team and also to bring the credibility for the city team because we want to maintain the inclusiveness of the process. So it's not just led by the Mercy Corps, but it's owned by the city. And also the need to build kind of the legal framework with the city to establish the city team, which is consists from the cross actor, which came from the government, academician, and also the local NGO. So this is the brief, and this is the, outcome that we already uh, achieved in Semarang and Bandar Lampung City, where the both city already finalized their VA and CRS, which the CRS already mainstream to their local development planning, uh, local development plan with the mainstreaming of the CRS to the local development plan, it ensuring the budgetary commitment from the local government to implement the partial part of the CRS, and also we already conduct the intervention project in the both cities, and this is just an example about how the CRS influenced the local development planning in Semarang City. So it's just a brief. And from the first, uh, and from the phase one to three of the ASEAN implementation, we are taking that this is a momentum for ASEAN to replicate and scaling up the ASEAN at the national level and also the across, across nation at the Indonesia to replicate it in broader cities. And from some, some lessons taken from the previous implementation of the ASEAN, which are that uh, given the local and context specific nature of the UCCR strategy, UCCR stands for the Urban Climate Change Resilience Strategy, lessons learned tend to relate to the process rather than to the specific outcome. And also we consider the need to build an alliance between national and city actors to incentivize replication and scaling up the UCCR at the national level. And also we consider the strong need to create an effective and strong communication me uh, mechanism between the level of governance uh, from the city level of government to national level of government. And through work with the other actor, other city practitioner in Indonesia, we also see the need to create to have a nationwide accessible of standardized methodologies, guidance, and art tools, especially for creating the VA and CRIS. This is, we, we come to this conclusion because when we work with the city, with the several actors working on the same city, the city government tend to questioning what is the difference between this methodology and their methodology? What is the strength and weakness between the methodology. So what we see is there, there is a need to standardize this method, methodology at the national level. 
with that in mind, we tried to identify the national level government that will be an important key actor to be engaged through the ASEAN phase four strategy. We identified at least there will be four major uh, key national government. The first is National Development Planning Agency and the second is National Council on Climate Change. For the first two of agency, they are more focusing on building the framework because they don't have any authorities to making a policy or do not have any authorities to conduct the technical intervention. So we are not working on the technical issue on these two agencies but more on the cl closely engagement at the national, for the national platform. Well, for the rest too, for the State Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Public Works, we see there's a potential engagement to mainstream the UCCR concept in these two ministries because they have a relevant program with, which we can be used to as an entry point to mainstream the UCCR. For the Ministry of Environment, we see that we can engage them in their program on the vulnerability index data information system for city and regency level, we call it CDIC. But we see that their program has some gap that we can potentially fill in the gap, which we identify that the gap is that they do not provide the guidelines, not just guidelines to implement the tools, but the guidelines in how to conducting the VA at the city level because they are more focusing at the national interest. So we will fit in the gap to provide, to refine, refine our VA uh, guideline to be adopted by them, by them. And also we will assist them, assist them in establishing the online VA system, which will be accessible nation, nationally. And Considering that the VA have a local contextual characteristic while the uh, Ministry of Environment will be more focusing at the national level interest, we propose to create the two layers of indicator in developing the VA. The generic indicator will be, will be more to meet the need of the national interest, so it will be more a generic indicator which will be common use at the national level, while for the second layer of indicator it will be more contextual, so we will more, more work with the city level to develop this, their specific development indicator which will uh, represent their city characteristic. And also because the final result of the CDIX is only the VA and climate risk make, we will more focus work on the city to harness the result of the VA to developing their climate resilience strategies uh, through our best practice transfer program and yeah, and to provide evidence to the national level government about the potential linkage between the VA and development planning and for the CSP we will work on this climate city special planning process. And for the communication strategy we will establish three layer. We we currently working on this three layer communication strategy at the city level we have initiative for urban climate change and environment. While at the regional level for the horizontal cross learning between the city, we already established the Indonesia Urban Climate Change Network, and for the national level, we will we strengthening the Indonesia Climate Alliance, which currently coordinated under the Mercy Corps Indonesia. And this is for the detail function of the each layer of the communication, the hub. For the IUCCE, they are focus, they are will have more function on the center of excellence and to sustain implementation of CRS. Well, for the IUCCN, they are more focusing on the horizontal cross-learning between the cities, while for the ICA, they will have more function on the advocacy to the national level. Their three major function is to filtering information and knowledge, to amplify common or shared values, and also to convene different stakeholders at the national level to provide a message for policy advocacy to the national level government. And this is the wrap-up of the strategy for the ESERN. Thank you.